This is Moscow's Red Square. No visitors allowed Thursday. Behind the fences, work underway, setting the stage for a major announcement from the Russian president. Vladimir Putin expected to make his country's annexation of four Ukrainian regions official on Friday, following recent voting in the Russian-occupied territories. Referendums Ukraine and its allies have condemned as a sham, rejecting the outcomes as an illegal land grab. And the move the UN warns would mark a dangerous escalation in the war. It is high time to step back from the brink. The Kremlin expected to claim the regions of Donetsk, Luhansk, Zaporizhia and Kherson as its own. Altogether, that makes up about 15 percent of Ukrainian territory. We're determined to make the Kremlin pay for this further escalation. The EU and the U.S. saying they do not accept the results of the referendums and they're vowing to impose more sanctions against Russia over the impending annexation. The United States will never recognize Russia's attempts to annex parts of Ukraine. The Ukrainian president has called the votes pseudo-referendums that would be unequivocally condemned by the world much like Moscow's annexation of Crimea in 2014. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, during his stop in eastern Quebec, surveying damage from Fiona, also slamming Russia Thursday. I spoke with President Zelensky of Ukraine yesterday morning and uh, reassured him that not only is Canada standing strong in its uh, support of Ukraine and its pushback against Russia's illegal uh, invasion and actions, uh, but we're also going to continue working with the world to recognize uh, that what Putin is trying to do is completely illegitimate. And Trudeau says Canada will be joining the U.S., the EU, in tacking on stronger sanctions against Moscow. An update on that, the PM says, coming soon. And taking effect in Finland, that country closing its border to Russian tourists Thursday at midnight, blocking the last remaining direct land route for them to the European Union. This is thousands of Russians scrambled to avoid conscription into the war in Ukraine. Melissa Duggan, City News.